Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a recap video for you to show you everything that I photographed and I've made in the last two weeks and some things I made earlier in the month but I wasn't able to photograph them. And I can't remember if I showed you the garments but I'll show you again. So the first garment is McCall 7061 and I made the dress version of it. And I made the version of it that has the band around the bottom of it. I made it out of a gray knit fabric and I made the also made the one with the collar on it but not the hoodie. I actually do want to make the hoodie, but I think I want to make that make it a shirt instead of an actual dress. And I also photographed a Clara handbag with this look. The Clara handbag I made out of a camouflage faux leather print. You've seen this print in other bags and I decided to make a Clara handbag out of it. It's a very soft but sturdy fabric so I absolutely love it. The McCall 7061 is actually a great pattern. It is very beginner friendly and if you need some help making the pattern I actually have a pictorial on my blog and I'll link that in the description box below just in case you need some step-by-step -step, um, direction on how to make it. I was also able to photograph the McCall 7100 bomber jacket that I made out of the Thor and Hulk fabric and I'm absolutely in love with this jacket. I want to wear it everywhere every day. <laughs> um, as you all know I'm a big comic book fan and anytime I can integrate comic books and sewing I'm there. <laughs> so I'll show you a picture of the bomber jacket, the front and the back, and then on the sleeves and around the waist, the waistband and the armbands, I used a black ponty knit. The McCall 7100 is actually an a unlined jacket, but I actually put a lining in it because I'm very cold natured, so I like to have a lining in my jackets just to have that extra layer of warmth especially now since it's, it's really cold outside. But I think it's going to be like 70 degrees this weekend, which is absolutely crazy because it was 20 and 30 earlier in the week. Anyway, <laughs> so in the last recap video, I showed you the tester versions of the Clara handbag pattern. And I left one off because I didn't have the pictures, but I have the pictures now. So I want to show you the pictures of her bag. Um, her Instagram name is at um, so and she made it out of some fabric. She said she had this fabric in her stash and she knew she wanted to make a bag with it. And she also photographed it around her waist to wear it as a waist bag. I know it's called different things, fanny packs, waist bags, bum bags. Um, but she put it around her waist, which I thought was absolutely adorable. So I was in the mood to experiment. I went to this meeting and I met this lady and she had a really cute crossbody bag. So I asked her, I said, can I take a picture of your bag? <laughs> so I let her know that I actually made bags and I wanted to take a picture because I wanted to basically knock her bag off <laughs> uh, because I thought it was really, really cute. So I'll show you a picture of the inspiration photo so you can see the front of her bag, which I thought was absolutely adorable. So I decided that I was ready to experiment and actually make something similar to that. So what I did was I took my Angie Clutch pattern that I have. It's a free PDF pattern that I have. I'll link that in the description box below so you can get it if you don't already have it. And I just made some modifications to it. So, um, well, I did the zipper tabs and there's, <laughs> I would say, there are a lot of shameless plugs in this video I see. <laughs> um, but it's all free, so no worries there. Um, the zipper tabs I put on there and I use the zipper tab tutorial that I put here on YouTube. I'll link that in the description box below as well. But I use um, zipper tabs and it's the same as the lining on the inside. right? And I use this white faux leather fabric and also this kind of gray color um, faux leather. And so it's not exactly like her bag, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but I, I know I just wanted a strip across the top. I didn't want the, the way her strip was across the top. And 
I put the strips here at the bottom and I used um, studs instead of rivets. I really like using studs. They're much easier to install in my opinion. Now, um, so this is the finished product and I put a wristlet on here as well and I put a rivet in the wristlet to hold it in place because it was kind of thick so I didn't want to use my, so I wasn't on my industrial machine so I didn't want to um, use that and break my needle so I just poked a hole in here and put a rivet in here and I really need to use my rivet and grommet press more so <laughs> all right um, so the reason why it's not spread out like hers is because when I cut these the top came out fine but when I cut these I should have cut two strips and sewed them with the wrong size together because when I went to spread it out this side was the right side and this side was the wrong side of the fabric so I'll know next time because I do want to make one more similar to her version of it um, so I'll do that the next time so I can actually spread them out just to see how it looks but I think this version turned out pretty good I, I actually really really like it and it's different for me because I never really put accents or anything on my bag so I, I really like the way this turned out All right, so let me know what you think I also experimented and I made another Annie pack now uh, Annie pack is one of the PDF patterns that I have and it's a fanny pack but it's a kind of a twist on a fanny pack it's not your traditional fanny pack and this is one of the older versions that I made of it um, and it has the tabs here on the side and has the waist strap on here but you can wear it in many different ways I'll pop some pictures on the screen so you can see the different ways that you can actually wear this but I experimented and I made a bigger version of it so with this one it's much bigger so compared to just holding them like that this one is much bigger and that's what I wanted I mean I wanted to make a bigger version of it and put the zipper tabs on here again <laughs> and I also instead of putting the tabs on the side here the strap tabs I sewed a strip of fabric across the back and I could just put it put the strap in through that fabric in the back and I thought that was really different and really neat um, but this is a larger version of the um, Annie pack that I have um, which is a PDF pattern the video is here on um, YouTube so I'll link that in the description box below but I like it it's bigger you can add more stuff to it especially to the front pocket so you can put your cell phone in the front pocket so I'll take my phone uh, my phone is not as big as my old phone that I had. I had the LG V20. This one is a little bit smaller. This is a Samsung J7 Star, I believe. Um, but you can actually put it in there. And it fits nice and snug. And I still have room in there as well. And also the top part of it. Of course, I can stick my phone in there. Keys, wallet. Right. Take my phone out before I forget it's in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like this because it's, it's a lot bigger and it holds more. Um, and I also like this part of it as well. And you can um, use different straps on here if you want to. So this one, so like I said, this is a bigger version of it. And the next thing what I made was the um, Clematis, I think I'm saying that right, the Clematis by um, Blue Cala Patterns. It's a wristlet and I made it out of um, an African print and a denim fabric. And I have the wristlet on here and I use my rivet press again. <laughs> All right. But I really like it. It's, it's a really cute wristlet, really cute clutch, clutch bag. Um, I want to make more of these. I made one a while ago. If I can find the picture, I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see it. I actually made it out of this fabric. But this one, very easy sew. 
I like blue color patterns because um, the instructions are very easy to follow. They're very thorough instructions. And then sometimes you can actually find tutorials here on the channel. I know, I believe someone did a tutorial on this bag. I can't be sure. I know they did something with it. Maybe they added um, card slots in it, but I'll link it below. Um, I'll find the video and I'll link it below. I don't know if it's an actual tutorial for this or just a tutorial for the um, card slots that they put inside this. But it's really cute. It's a very quick and easy sell and beginner friendly. And last but not least, I made the Pelican Tote by Bagstock Patterns. And I love Bagstock Patterns as well. They have very clear, straightforward instructions. And I love, love making their, um, their patterns there. That backpack that I make, that is um, a um, Bagstock Pattern. Um, this one is a free pattern. It's a free tote pattern on their website. I'll link it below. And I made it out of the same African print fabric that I made the Clematis um, wristlet. And I love this because oh, I also use denim fabric for the accent. And I love this because it has a zipper pocket on the front. It's really neat. This is my first time actually um, doing a zipper pocket the way that they explained to do it. Which was which was really cool. I, um, I love learning new techniques and learning new ways to do things because if I had to put a zipper on here, I would have did it the hard way. <laughs> right? um, but I thought that was really neat that it's really um, deep pocket here. So you can put your cell phone, your keys right in the front. And it also has a zipper pocket on the inside of it. The inside is very deep tote bag. Um, and it also has this snap closure. Now, I did the snap closure a little different. I put my snap on the outside. But the pattern is actually different. The snap actually goes on the um, inside, which I will do that next time. But I didn't cut out enough fabric, so I just kind of um, maneuvered it. <laughs> because I didn't, I didn't feel like cutting out and interfacing and all that. So... I just put the one snap on the outside of, and this snap on the outside as well. But um, in their version, the snaps go on the lining. So this, this would be on the inside of the bag and it would just snap together like that. Um, and the next time I make it, I'll do it um, that way. I just, I was lazy and I didn't want to do it. <laughs> um, and also this is the back. The back doesn't have a pocket, but it, you, you can still use the same accent fabric, which is very cool. This is a very easy, straightforward sew. Um, and like I said, even if you're a beginner, their instructions are very, very straightforward. Um, only thing you have to be careful of, make sure you read the instructions before you start sewing. And also read the pattern pieces, which you need to cut out, because these, the sides, you have to cut a mirror image of it, which means you, you cut it one way and then you have to flip it and cut it the other way. Um, so be mindful of that. Um, but overall, I love it. It's a great tote pattern. Um, you can also, if you want to, this is you know not something you have to do, but you can also do a recessed zipper on here and close it up. You can do a lot of different things with this pattern. So I thought it was, was great. So I'll link everything in the description box below just in case you want to make you want to make any of these patterns. So that's everything that I've made in the last couple of weeks or let's say in November. That's everything that I've made in November. Let me know your thoughts. And also if you have made any of these patterns, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.